Welcome to Yelapa! <laughs> Hello dear travelers, today we will be going snorkeling in Mahawitas and visiting a beautiful town of Yelapa. Sit back and enjoy until the end for recommendations. To get to the town of Yelapa, we took a boat tour. Tour leaves from the Marina Api next to the Puerto Vallarta Airport at 10 in the morning. The tour includes breakfast, all you can drink on the boat and lunch at a beach restaurant in Yelapa. The average cost for this tour is around 900 pesos per person. Once on the boat, the music starts and you will begin your ride across the Banderas Bay and it will take about an hour to Mahawitas for some snorkeling. They will bring you breakfast and your options are pancakes with fruits or chaquiles which are scrambled eggs and corn tortillas which was delicious. They will also offer you some sauce but be careful because it's very spicy, trust me. In Mahawitas, they will provide you with masks and life jackets. The water here is super clear, so you can enjoy the wildlife. We recommend to bring a GoPro or any waterproof camera to capture the moments. If you don't have one, don't worry. There is a professional photographer on a board for additional costs. And for those who prefer not to swim, they also have a kayaks available. Welcome to Yelapa! <laughs> And now to the main event, Yelapa! You have an open bar with different alcohol options available like beer, margaritas and pina colada. When you get to Yalapa, a fishing boat will pick you up from the boat tour and drop you off at the beach. The tour will provide you with a guide to take you to the Yalapa waterfall. And for those who don't like to go on walking hikes, they will connect you with a horse tours and ATV tours to take you to the waterfall. They will cost about a thousand pesos per person. Right now we're on a guided tour to see the waterfall, the waterfall of Yelapa. So it says it's going to take about an hour to hike there and we're going to show you the beautiful waterfall. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah, on top of that. You can see the iguana. I got three in this one. Wow, so beautiful. Normally, you can present on the beach, but in this moment, it's very deep. Mm. This is beautiful. Hey, Juana, look the Juana. Oh, the big Juana with the birds. It's a bridge with.
we choose to do a hiking trail. We didn't take no horses ride and no motorcycle. We just decided to walk. And it's so beautiful because you can actually experience all the neighborhood and all the beauty around. Look at this huge bamboo trees. One fun fact is that you can't drive to Yelapa. Only way for tourists to get here is by boat. The main method of transportation here is horses, ATVs, and of course, walking. Yelapa feels very much like an island, like a paradise in the middle of the ocean. Yet, it is not an island, but it is a must visit if you're ever in Puerto Vallarta. Yelapa was founded 150 years ago by four families, and today, their descendants still own and maintain the town. They fight really hard to preserve their way of life. That means not permitting the building of roads into town and not allowing outsiders to own any land in town, making Yelapa an oasis for vacationers looking to get away from the chaotic modern world and relax in a world that has stopped in time. Trees. All these cool, powerful buildings, it's amazing. It's given so much life. As you can see, the roads here, most of them made like that, the type of rocks and some cement in between. When you're here, make sure to keep your eyes open for the beautiful art, gorgeous scenery, and unique architecture. We can almost guarantee that you have never seen a place like this. And if you're liking the content, please make sure to hit the like button to help us with our YouTube algorithm so we can continue to show you more of Mexico and hopefully more of the world afterwards. If you wish to support us and our little doggies even more to continue traveling and inspire you to travel more, 
just like we're doing now, we have a Patreon account in the description and those who become a patron will get a shout out in our next video. Thank you so much for the support. Here is our ride to take us back to the boat. Another way to get to Yalapa other than a tour is to catch a boat taxi from Boca de Tomatlan or Miss Maloya. And the cost is around 500 pesos per person. This might be a better way since it will allow you to spend more time in Yalapa and the last boat taxi leaves at 5 p.m. Our tour only left us with two hours to explore the town and trust us. It's not nearly enough to actually see the beauty of this place. We will definitely be going back to explore some more of this town. One of the best parts of the day was seeing the whales on the way back to the marina. Whale season is from December to March. It will be 
And that will be all for today. Thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our future adventures. Thank you all and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.